I'm your host, number one best-selling author, Eric Qualman. Most of you know me as, oh, I didn't say motivational speaker. The sign was faded, it was rusty. Definitely been there for at least 40 to 50 years. But what caught my attention, I already said that once, right? On today's Focus Projects, we talk about a sign that I saw on a tree and how that's made my life happier. Hey, it's number one best-selling author and motivational speaker, Eric Qualman. Most of you know me as Equal Man. Welcome to The Focus Project, brought to you by the great folks at Sleep Number. Today, we're gonna to talk all about how we can focus on your happiness. As you know, this show is all about how to focus on what matters most, and at the top of that list is happiness. Interesting enough, focus is almost a synonym for happiness. I was driving along one day and I looked out at some trees and there's a mile per hour sign that said 17 miles per hour and that really stood out in my mind because that was a unique number, but it was the sign below it that really caught my attention. The sign was genius in its simplicity. It read, Rotary Club meets every Thursday, 12 to one. After a great night's rest on my sleep number 360 bed, the first thought that popped into my mind was an image of that sign. I love the fact that long before email, before social, before texting, before tweeting, there's just a sign that I knew every Thursday I could show up at that location and the community would be there. So here's what I did, and this month I want you to do something similar. I've set up a standing lunch at noon, of course, on the last Friday of every month. I know that in our crazy lives, we start running around, we're going crazy all the time, and guess what we don't take time for? Our friends, the community, and that's what life is all about. That's what happiness is all about. That's what this focus project is all about. It's as simple as that. We need to take time for the things that matter the most to us, and friends are at the top of that list. Studies actually show that the people that live to be 100 years old, the number one thing they all share in common is they all have a large subset of friends. So my ask of you this month for the Focus Project brought to you by Sleep Number is set up a lunch with your closest friends. So I want to thank all of you for watching. I want to thank the great folks at Sleep Number for sponsoring the Focus Project. And remind all of you, it's not what we take from the world, it's what we leave behind.